This study video looks at economies of scale in beer production. So what are internal economies of scale? Well, they are the fall in long run unit or average cost as the scale of output increases. And uh, one key reason for economies of scale as the business grows is that large scale output often uses fewer inputs per unit of output. Economies of scale are one of the key factors driving costs, revenues and profits and growth generally in the global beer industry. Here's a chart showing the market share of the leading beer companies worldwide in 2021 based on the volume of sales. And you can see that one firm in particular is the clear leader. So Anheuser-Busch InBev, or AB InBev, is a Belgian-Brazilian multinational company producing over 500 million hectolitres of beer annually. And a hectolitre is, is uh, equal to 100 litres. So this is vast production of these kind of bottled beers and canned beers. Heineken, a Dutch multinational company, produces over 220 million hectolitres of beer each year. So what economies of scale might be achieved by these manufacturers operating at a huge scale? Well, let's go through five examples of potential scale economies. I suppose the first and most obvious would be bulk purchasing or buying economies. So by producing huge volumes of beer, as we've seen, uh, businesses such as Heineken and AB InBev, they can negotiate a much better price with suppliers for raw materials. That could be the price they pay for their aluminium cans, or it could be the price they pay for their hops, the barley and the yeast. So large-scale production encourages firms to achieve monopsony or buying power, which brings down their unit cost of production, leading to economies of scale. A second major type of scale economy is production efficiency. Large-scale beer manufacturers can invest in the latest technology to help streamline the brewing process, improving their productive efficiency and lowering average cost. So they can operate on a big scale with vast uh, units of capital and uh, very hyper-efficient production lines, including the bottling plant. This is a key feature of economies of scale in beer production. But there are others. By operating on the global scale, companies can benefit from economies of scale in distribution and marketing. The marketing is often a fixed cost of production. And if you're producing, well, millions, hundreds of millions of bottles each year and cans, that brings down the marketing cost per unit sold. Businesses operating at scale can invest in research and development to create new products, new types of beer, improve their production processes and therefore reduce costs. And critically, uh, there is a risk-bearing economy of scale. Companies at this level of production can spread their risks across different markets, reducing, for example, the impact of economic downturns or fluctuations in demand for beer in any one particular region. So there we go. There are five big examples of potential internal economies of scale operating when businesses increase the scale of production to a huge level. And who benefits from internal scale economies? Well, clearly firms should, li should likely gain from this. Uh, economies of scale, for example, would involve moving from MC1, AC1 to a much lower and higher scale of production, uh, high, lower costs and higher scale of production, MC2, AC2. Let's put the revenue curves in here, average revenue and marginal revenue. So the first profit maximising output would be at uh, output Q1, where the firm could charge price P1, with a unit cost of AC1, and that gives that level of profit shown by the shaded area. But with economies of scale, you move on to a lower set of cost curves. Profit maximising output can rise to Q2. The firm can charge a lower price, P1 falls to P2, but of course the unit cost of production are so much lower, AC2. So the area of profit compared with the previous level, the green area now compared to the orange area is much, much bigger. So economies of scale can lead to lower prices for consumers, increasing their welfare, but also lead to a higher level of super normal profit for businesses. So these scale economies allow the world's largest beer producers to benefit from cheaper production costs per unit, 
increased efficiency and wider reach across different markets around the world. And that can help them maintain their competitive advantage and indeed dominance, as we've seen, in the global beer market. Thanks for joining in. Take care. See you soon.